Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask you just to remain standing for a few moments. Before we start today's graduation ceremony, I think it would be appropriate to have a few minutes silence for the terrible tragedy in Ukraine. We know we've lost members of countries we are very friendly with. We have many Malaysian students and staff. We have Dutch students and staff. And we also know we have lost researchers in the very important subject of HIV. So can I ask you just to join with me for a few moments silence in memory of all those who have died and to think of their loved ones. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Bureda, al cruiso a ceremony grabio, my brave young, I quell the Hiama Hedio, get a tiley, a reich of Ilion, see where the board and Gavini Hiahi de Forlup. Good morning and welcome to your graduation ceremony. It's delightful to see you all here today with your families and friends who've supported you along the way. Now, it's always a joy to attend graduation because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate everything that you've achieved while you've been with us. But it's also time to think and stop, well, what next? And whilst most of you probably, hopefully, already have your posts all organized, it is time to stop and think about the skills that you've developed whilst you've been here. We hope that we've been working in partnership with you to ensure that you've not just learned about your discipline, but a whole host of other skills that will prepare you for the outside world and opportunities that give you an opportunity to enhance your skill set. Now life is a little bit like an orchestra. There will be times when you will be playing the bass line. You will be the strong foundation on which everything else is built. And there will be times where you will be a good team player. You may get a bit lost in the texture of the piece or the project, but in crucially important in making sure that team works really well. But there will also be times when you will take up a leadership role and you'll step out of the background and play the tune. The music analogy can be taken a little bit further because, of course, to be a good musician, you have to spend hours and hours and hours and hours practicing, playing scales, note bashing. But you also need to learn to understand rhythm, how to read music, and the importance of split-second timing in certain pieces. These are the skills you will need to make a success of your careers. Now, like many of my generation, uh, I was the first on both sides of my family to ever go to university. Uh, my parents didn't have much choice, to be honest. The Second World War was on. And although my mother didn't, um, didn't live to see me uh, graduate, she did always encourage me in terms of the importance of education, in terms of having choices in life. I have been very fortunate in my life. I have had a university education. My life has been exciting, challenging, and to be honest, a privilege. There are times when I walk into Cardiff University and have to pinch myself to think, gosh, I actually, I actually work here. This is brilliant. But from my current office window, I can see the attic bedroom where my grandmother lived when she came to Cardiff in 1914 to get work and found work as a kitchen maid. So grandmother to granddaughter, kitchen maid to professor and pro vice chancellor. That's what education can do. That's what the opportunity for education can do. You've had that opportunity, please don't waste it. As you leave today, you will join and become part of the vibrant, inspiring alumni. You're our future. So please be proud of being a Cardiff graduate. Go and share your knowledge. Encourage others to pick it up. Encourage others to face the challenge of discovering new things and then sharing that knowledge. Don't be afraid to fail. 
We all fail at some point, but pick yourself up, decide what you need to learn, and then move on. So today is all about celebrating your success. Embrace it, enjoy it, but above all, appreciate it. Never stop learning. I wish you health, I wish you happiness, I wish you success, so that as you leave here today, you will hopefully help to make the world a better place. I now have the pleasure of introducing Gethin Davis. Now, Gethin is at the start of his academic career because he's just finished his first year studying law and Welsh. He's going to read the poem by Wales's inaugural national poet, Gwyneth Lewis. Many of you will have encountered her work. You may not know it, but it's the biggest poem ever in the world because it's carved out in the front of the Wales Millennium Centre. Gwyneth has been writer in residence at the University School of Physics and Astronomy and is now an honorary fellow. The poem is rather aptly entitled Education and was specially commissioned by the university. Diolchen Vaudiaun am un hayuch a ceremony. Education by Gwyneth Lewis. Be the avivio, gwell hard o wneud. Myna geisio, parchad weid. Traws newidiad fydd dy glod. Dy ddyfodol, mentro bod. Learning is a passport that returns you home a better person. It permits you to dare being daring makes you secure with not knowing everything, helps you welcome some failure, forges an alloy with others' thinking. It is simple delight in mind and its motions, scintillates but isn't deceptive, admits the joy of institutes, is the open road to everywhere but bigotry. It's the shortest distance between you and me, and if you're lucky, it never ends. Barda. Good morning. Welcome to Cardiff, to St. David's Hall, and to our 2014 graduation ceremony. <coughs> I am Professor Sir Martin Evans, and I am Chancellor of Cardiff University. May I offer you my warmest congratulations for graduating today. As you sit there, waiting to come up on stage, you must be feeling a mixture of emotions, and I'm sure many of you feel excited, many of you feel relieved, but most of all, I hope you feel a great sense of achievement. All of you deserve congratulations several times over. Congratulations on winning admission in the first place. Cardiff is one of the most sought after universities in the UK and indeed across the world, and admission standards are high. I'm sure you all remember, selection is quite fierce. And for every one of you sitting there, that's the, this is true across the university, six or seven applicants were fighting for the place. So congratulations to all of you who are graduating today. We all know what a huge achievement that is and how many individual struggles and successes it has entailed. Congratulations on your years of study here. Research-led teaching is one of the distinctive features which we try to maintain in Cardiff University. And your lecturers are some of the most original and pioneering thinkers in their own chosen fields. Many of you may have participated in research projects, learned to ask new questions, and, importantly, to challenge conventional wisdom. 
Whether you stay in academic research or pursue further professional career, I hope that the free, inquiring Cardiff state of mind will stay with you. And most importantly, we must congratulate and welcome the many family, friends, partners and supporters who join us today, many of whom may have travelled great distances to be here. We owe a very great deal to the support of family, partners and friends, both moral support, guidance and encouragement, but in many cases, considerable resource and financial support. I urge all of you who are graduating today to spend, send your heartfelt thanks to everyone who has helped you. Now, a word specifically to you, the new graduates. Enjoy today. It's a great day, but don't think it's all over. This is the beginning of your future. You will be entering upon a journey of lifelong learning. In the modern world of mass communication, massive open online courses, Blackboard, YouTube, virtual lectures, TED, we face a fundamental question in the universities. With information everywhere, what is the role of university education? Well now, in many ways, you need it more than ever. Your tutors will hope that much more than the knowledge they've imparted to you is understanding. An understanding of methods of learning, of analysis, of intellectual thinking, which should serve you well throughout your days. Go out into the community, your community, to learn. To explain evidence-based knowledge to encourage thought, not prejudice, and be prepared to defend education. All of you here today are a testament to the value of Cardiff University education, to the benefits of learning in an international environment and of our research-led teaching. Now, as I just mentioned, the internet helps share information, but the volume of misinformation reinforces more than ever the need for evidence-based knowledge. I feel that we really should be using our knowledge for the good of mankind. But I'm also keenly aware of potential abuses and misuses. And I personally feel that by far the best prospect for responsible application and regulation must lie with a better informed public. And you, the modern graduates, you must provide that information and interpretation. We need to use this knowledge and how we apply it for the good of mankind around the world. Now our students remain the most satisfied with their education experience in Wales according to the National Student Survey. And record numbers of students are being offered a chance to apply their learning through Cardiff University research opportunities. And these achievements, the achievements of the university, are reflected in the outstanding achievements of Cardiff School of Medicine over the past year. The school continues to receive high recognition for its pursuit of improved health through education, research and engagement in Wales, the UK and internationally. Dr. John Gallagher is leading the Medical Research Council's new UK Dementias Research Platform, a £16 million partnership bringing together industry expertise and teams from eight universities with the world's largest group of participants in dementias research. Professor Michael Owen, whom you will know, of course, has been very influential in laying the foundations for this, has been recognized in the Queen's Birthday Honours List with a knighthood for his work in neuroscience and mental health. And the school has successfully launched the new C21 program to help train tomorrow's doctors. So congratulations to for what students bring to Cardiff and to Wales. 
Many of you may have taken part in student volunteering Cardiff, one of the largest such schemes in the country. You have given more than 50,000 hours of your time in the past year, helping more than 900 people each week, from the youth club, established for young people with Down syndrome, to day trips organized for young carers, for example. You're a prime reason why Cardiff University is so valued in its own home community. And sport, of course, is very important across the university, and we are very pleased that we have retained the Varsity Shield for another year. Well done. And there are numbers of our fellow students who will be going on to compete in the upcoming Commonwealth Games. Now I'm going to ask you to carry the determination and commitment you have demonstrated during your time here. Carry it with you as you embark on your future career. You will be among the professionals, the important professionals who will lead this and other nations. It will not be an easy job. I'm sure it will not be an easy job. There's a lot to be done. And I hope you all leave here with a solid determination to contribute, to contribute to the culture, to the welfare and prosperity of your family, your communities, and of greater mankind. So, I urge you to be the gatekeepers of good sense and the educators for tomorrow. Dear. I will now read the proclamation, first in Welsh, then in English. Nerth glad e gwybodaeth. Bwyd hysbys i holl aelodau'r brifysgol, ac ar hyd a lle dy byd, fod cynulliad o brifysgol cair dydd yn cael ei gynnal heddiw ym rhif ddinas Cymru. O dan awdurdod siarter frenhinol y brifysgol, mae'r cynulliad hwn yn cyfarfod i dderbyn y myfyrwyr sydd yn rhinwedd eu hastudiaethau a'u hysgol heictod, wedi eu harholi'n briodol yn unol a statudau'r brifysgol, ac wedi eu cael yn deilwng o'u graddau. Wrth athlu llwyddiant y rhai sy'n graddio yn y cynulliad hwn, fe'i hatgoffwn o'u cyfrifoldeb i gyfrannu o werthoedd y brifysgol hwn. Nod i ddim twy i'w ceisio drwy eu cyflawniadau, wasanaethu er lles pawb, ymdrechu i sicrhau rhagoriaeth ym ho peth ac yn boeni am ddyfodol ein byd. Gwrandewch yn awchus ar ddwy thuneb, gan ei fod yn cynnig gobaith a gwirionedd ym hob cenhedlaeth. Nerth gwlad ei gwybodaeth, a nation's strength is in its learning. Let it be known to all members of the university and throughout the world that today in the capital city of Wales a congregation of Cardiff University is taking place. Under the authority of the university's Royal Charter, this congregation meets to receive those students who, by virtue of their studies and scholarship, have been appropriately examined according to the statutes of the university and found worthy of their degrees. We celebrate this, the success of those who graduate in this congregation and in doing so, remind them of their responsibility to share in the values of this university. It is for them to seek, through their achievements, to serve the common good, to strive for excellence on all things and care for the future of our world. Be attentive to wisdom, for it offers hope and truth in every generation. Diolch.
Kadar, good morning. My name's Professor Elizabeth Treasure. I'm the Deputy Vice-Chancellor here, and it's my very great pleasure to be admitting you to your degrees this morning. Now, this is the formal part of the ceremony, but that doesn't mean that we don't want you to enjoy yourselves. So when, we, when Professor Bly calls out your name or Professor Jones and you walk along the red carpet, that is the time for your loved ones, friends, relatives, whoever you've brought with you and your classmates to make as much noise as they would like. You may clap, you may whoop, you may cheer. Celebrate, please. All I would ask is that when I've shaken hands with your loved one, you then allow the silence to come back so that the next person's name can be heard. So if you go on too long, I will stop you. <laughs> Once all of the students for each award have crossed the stage and returned to their seats, I will ask you to stand. At this point in the ceremony, and in other equivalent times, it's a tradition of the university for the Vice-Chancellor or his representative to speak in Welsh to receive each group of graduates to their awards. The Welsh phrase I will use when translated means, through the authority conferred upon me by the university, I receive you to the award of, and then I will name the degree or certificate you're receiving. I will then doff to you, and I expect you to doff back to me. So, Professor Bly, shall we start? I, Professor John Bly, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Mohammed Abu Bakar. <laughs> Amir Hazizi bin Abdul Razak. <laughs> Alexander Peter Philip Adams. Mamuna Ali. <laughs> Catherine Fiona Albright. <laughs> Hamed Alasami. <laughs> Leila Amel. <laughs> Vitali Andrushuk. Isabel Aslanyan. <laughs> Michael James Atkinson. <laughs> Oliver James Bagshaw. <laughs> James Royce Barnacle. <laughs> Narul Atika Bashir Mohammed. Joanna Danielle Bettis Betterton. <laughs> Lauren Bostock. <laughs> Jack Michael Boylan. <laughs> Antigone Georgia Branchflower. <laughs> Alicia Suzanne Broomfield. Claire Mary Brown. <laughs> Clara Antonina Brzezinska. <laughs> Lucy Bull. <laughs> Julia Louise Bunny. <laughs> Hannah Rebecca Irene Burns. John William Butler. <laughs> Jennifer Carr. <laughs> Liam Stewart Carroll. <laughs> Jason Kian Yang Chai. <laughs> Demetrius Hilumas. 
Laura Jane Chase. Olivia Cheatham. Amy Chisnell. Richard Christie. Jessica Crisley. Hannah Louise Clark. Stephanie Clark. Maria Elizabeth Clements. Felicity Catherine Cooksey. Jennifer Mary Cooper. Alexandra Louise Cormack. John Matthew Creamer. Sarah Bethan Rossa Crowley. Helen Cupid. Ruth Curtis. Joanna Elizabeth Cuttle. Jonathan Dornsey. Anna Margaret Prodich Davis. Drew Davis. Aileen Mitford Davis. Hugh Rhys Davis. Yuan Davith Davis. Yuan Rhys Davis. Sarah Natalie Davis. Wesley Joseph Hugh Dean. Francesca Ross Dibel. Emily Teresa Del Foss. Fionn Dowie. Sarah Dawn Dulling. Daniela Drake here. Lucy Devil. Claire Dunn. Fionn Half Edge. Gwenol Meyer Edwards. Ania Morris Edwards. Astrid Elysia Etherington. Katrin Evans. Jack Nigel Philip Evans. Lloyd Thomas Arthur Evans. Simon Evans. Thomas James Kenwin Faulkner Hall. Elena Joy Fisher. Sophie Fitzsimmons. Catherine Louise Flew. Duncan Peter Fraser. Catherine Ann Frewer. Natasha Claire Frewer. Richard Hamilton Garland. 
Jack Joseph Capacici Gibb. Michael Gibbons. Amy Gilbrook. James Glasby. Charlotte Rose Joy Grant. Bethany Kate Griffiths. Rosemary Louise Griffiths. Sean Elia Gwynn. Sean Ed Maria Gwynn. Giles Hall. Joel Handley. Anthony Hanks. Julie Ann Hanna. Julia Danielle Hardy. Edward Stephen Austin Harrison. Gemma Marie Harbison. Shoeb Hastan. Thomas David Hathaway. Jonathan Stephen Andrew Hawkin. Sean Helen Mary Haywood. Ellen Louise May Heathcote. Nicole Louise Heal. Fiona Mavanwi Herbert. Susanna Herbert. Thomas Hicken. Amanda Christina Hill. Alice Elizabeth Hool. Hannah Rebecca Hopton. Thomas Gerard Horgan. Anna May Horn. Zahir Dana Hack. Thomas Howell. Izan Rushta Binti Idris. Esme Grace Ingram. Azia Ismail. Noraki Ismail. Ozian Henry Jones. Daniel Jeffrey. Andrew Owen Jenkinson. Stephen Johansson. Beth Ann John. Caridwen Jones. Christopher Jones. Aileen Gwyn Jones. Sarah Jones. Shivani Joshi. Mark Donald Calloway. 
Emma Jane Keelehe. Daniel Keating. Frederick George Ivan Keane. Kellen Brigetta Kenny. Richard Henry Smalley Kiff. Emily Ann King. Alice Rachel Knight. David Coe. Jacqueline Kopelman. Alice Lale. Emily Claire Lawrence. Sophia Theodora Lazenby. Annabelle Carolyn Lee. Thomas Ian Lemon. Shaw Kang Liu. Mina Limbu. Andrea Carolyn Ling. Hevin Thomas Llewellyn. Jack Adam Looker. Catherine Helen Luke. Blanche Lum. Catherine McCauley. James McGee. Amit Mantora. Anis Mansouri. Lee James Marchant. Benjamin Masterman. Hannah Elizabeth Maxwell. John Forbes McFall. Charlotte Mead. Rachel Louise Medland. Emma Louise Merrick. Kirsty Elizabeth Milson. Sahir Osman Mitha. Noor Azura Muhammad Yusuf. Imran Mohmud Muhammad. Siti Asiya Zamiri. Sarah Alexandra Moore. Benjamin Peter Morgan. Catherine Marguerite Diane Morgan. Owen Morgan. Stefan Parry Morgan. Stuart David Morley. Charlotte Bethan Morris. Alexander Frederick Mott. Bethany Claire Mountford.
Sarah Lynn Murray. Fatima Musamil. Deepa Nur. Onya Dikachi Orji. Kieran James Omani. Sean Elizabeth Osborne. Victoria May O'Toole. Aoife Ann Owens. Lucienne Parkinson. Roshina Patel. Serena Patel. Bethan Hannah Percival. Robert Perry. Lindsay Phelps. Dylan Phillips. Hannah Lisa Phillip. George Pitchers. Samantha Louise Preston. Laura Price. Priyan Lynn Price Davis. Alice Perchardis. Rosanna Rawson Kane. Nima Razi. Nicola Ann Renshaw. James Reynolds. Sarah Jane Richards. Jane Charlotte Richardson. Kimberly Sarah Richardson. Anthony Arthur Rimmer. Lisa Don Roberts. Dylan Paul Roy. Sarah Louise Rollison. Emily Rose. Kathleen Rowan. Emily Rowland. Catherine Elizabeth Clare Ruddick. <laughs> Stephanie Maria Rutherford. <laughs> Rebecca Ryle. <laughs> Blas J. Pavel Rabinsky. Ahmed Moffat Ibrahim Saif. Georgiana Samoa. Chloe Adele Savidon. Bryn Lloyd Saddle. Julia Scaife. Nicola Jane Scurfield. <laughs> Rupali Dilip Kumar Shah. 
Sandra Shah. Noor Safika Sharil. Joyce Garchen Shek. Richard Whitney Silcox. Shu Yin Sit. Hannah Simone Skip. Rebecca Helen Smith. Matthew Spur. Peter Sugden. Hannah Swinburne Cloak. Jonathan Talbot. Alethea Mayan Tang. Francis Miriam Taylor. Devia Theran. Simon Tebow. John Richard Mark Thickens. Jamie Reese Vaughan Thomas. Brianne Mary Thomas. Sean Thomas. Kunan Gwitham Thomas. Ella Susanna Toynton. Julia Christine Ainsworth Tracy. Gianluca Trisellini Longabardi. Rebecca Chinchin Sang. Suzanne Turvey. Lucy Udine. Benjamin Vince. Katerina Marie Valuk. Thomas Philip Peter Walters. Lois Warnock. Zachariah Wasami. Diana Renata Wasag. Hazel Jane Watchorn. Rhiannon Ellen Watson. Hannah Jane Mosley Webb. Natasha Jane Noyce Weatherall. Timothy David White. Lily Alice Whitehurst. Robert Whittam. Isabel Whitmore. Charlotte Wigston. Adam James Williams. Eleanor Jane Lillian Williams. Eleanor Ruth Williams. Owen David Williams. Sally Ann Williams. 
Gemma Winterbottom. <laughs> Rebecca Woods. <laughs> Andrew Ryland Workman. <laughs> Narul Cezana Binti Yahya. <laughs> Thomas Montague Yule. Shaza Putri Binti Zainuddin. Could I ask all those graduates to stand, please? Troy Arderdod a Brivascol, a Umferriedo de me, the Boniarqui, a Grav Baglor man with a Gaith, a Grav Baglor man Clav with a Gaith, a Gihoth, Freniar, Gravai Hani. Congratulations. Be seated. Thank you. I, Professor John Bly, introduce those who have received the degree of Bachelor of Science. Portia Victoria Stretton Cartwright. <laughs> Gwenny Bagiri. John Caleb Deverell Fortescue Manley. Sartaj Ahmed. Amy Alcock. Manon Jenkins. Maeve Middleton. Ilaria Pignotelli. Philippa Claire Rees. Francesca Louise Smith. Rachel Kathleen Underhill. Caroline Kate Woodman. Christopher Jeffries. Dina Fathola. Samuel David Leonard. Thomas Porter. Ruth West. Carly Bunston. Nicholas Burnley Hall. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Moira Curzon. <laughs> Thomas John Devonald. <laughs> Gareth Thomas Francis. <laughs> Bryony Hackling. Harris Ann Hughes. Clea <laughs> Kellen Jenkins.
Jasmine Q. So how Wahed bin Latifi. Thomas Morris. Lewis Peter George Palmer. Aled Reese. Francesca Shaw. Zoe Karina Thorpe. Scott Cutting. Danielle Francesca Donahue. Rashmi Sarah D'Souza. Rachel Victoria Jones. Sophie Alice Pickles. Nicole Naruni. Sophie Alice Walker. Sabah Ali. Grace Baxter. Sharif Mohammed Sami Awakil. Sophie Catherine Foreman. Silas Rory Simpson Fuller. Rebecca Wolf. Ashley Victoria Jean Yarrow Jenkins. And if those graduates could stand, please. Troy de Dodd every Vascal, um, me. The bunny aqui i rav bag law man with on the ice, aggy horse frame i rav on. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who received the postgraduate certificate. A Roy V. Arathro Dylan Jones and Kavruna Rai Sidwedi Derbin Discuscriv All Radedig. Maud Salzi Draman. Shaiza Noreen. Lucy Kate Satherley. You'd like to stand? Thank you. Troy Alder Dodder Brivascol, a umthereedoid me, the bunny a hui, e distas grieve all razedig aga ag e hoth freni a rav hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who have received the postgraduate diploma. Harui V, Arathro Dylan Jones, and Kavruna Rai Silveri Derbin, a diploma all Radedig. Audette Abdallah. <laughs> Raja Gopalan Chalalant. <laughs> Gurbir Singh Gill. Zakia Mahamuda.
Thins are Min. Edwin Jayapal Ratanajai. Ramaya Sulur Sundarajan. Obio Chugozi Nugigwe. Thandar Soe. Christine Robinson. Maya Maya Haya. Yvonne Barlow. Robert George John Hanna. Abhishek Sukla. Sandra Walker Boyal. Sami Welly Ahmed. Amira Al Rashti. Oshin Branek. Sunday Wilson Emenadzea Eriod. Sunil Jesti. Lim Liat Woy. Apurva Mishra. Mina Nathan. Afame Funa Augustine Nurwazi. Pet Nwe Win. Raja Adanan Ahmed. Rinal Pravin Nakara. Rathi Ajay Murthy. Afila Bukadida. Sama Mohammed. Vivian Jane Pyatt. And if that group of graduates would like to stand, please. Troy after Dod Abrivaskol, um Theriedoidi me, the bunny of Qui, is the diploma all Ravedig Agi Hall, Frenia Rav Hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Master of Public Health. Aravi Arathro Dylan Jones and Convluino Rai Sidwadi Darbin Grath Athro Mount Yechid Kahoidis. Amy Morara Abdidu. Ikwe Chukwu Jerry Amam Ilo. Rebecca Louise Cushion. Aisha Mukhtar Dodo. Rui Lu. Rebecca Louise Milton. Marian Olamide Omonoi. Rebecca Reynova.
wondered if you could stand, please. Troy Alchter, Dodder Brivascola, um Thereadoidimi, Drabani Achwi, Irav, Athroman Yachika Hoivis, Agi Hoth, Frenia Rav Hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Master of Science. Pero i fi'r athro Dylan Jones yn cyflwyno rai sydd wedi derbyn gradd athro mewn gwyddoniaeth. Fai hi'r alam. <laughs> Rames Nagati Antakya. <laughs> Afasne Dalil Yazdi. Tanya Samantha De Silva. <laughs> Mohammed Bashir Mokhtar Abed Halim Maituk. <laughs> Swapnam Margaret Fernandez. <laughs> Preeti Gupta. <laughs> Manju Krishnan. Noreen Mary Lewis. <laughs> Ahmed Mohamed Torki. <laughs> Charalampos Campuris. <laughs> Nicole Alexandria Adderley. <laughs> Christina De Bono. Nahid Elahi. <laughs> Fiona Farugia. <laughs> Melanie Jane Fife. <laughs> Marie Hall. <laughs> Hazel Hurd. John McCusker. <laughs> Rangaswamy Mothukuri. <laughs> Carlo Refalo. <laughs> Melissa K. Rowlett. <laughs> Carol Ann Schumann. Kelly Louise Yude. <laughs> Fiona Jane Casson. <laughs> Joanna Gomez. <laughs> Elena Sean Jenkins. <laughs> Helen Ann Jolly. Emily Ruth Lamb. <laughs> Frances Elizabeth Lane. <laughs> Antonia Ruseva. <laughs> Sinead Bridget White. <laughs> Bhaskara Sadasiva Rao Kale. Lydic Ivo Evans Nitsa. <laughs> Ziba Khan. <laughs> Rebecca Caroline Lum. <laughs> Ingrid May Prosser. <laughs> Naomi Rachel Winfield. 
Hugh Malcolm Campbell. Dilesh Manskural Kanhida. Amit Shankar Verma. Lisa Alexandra Gould. Lynette Williams. Catherine Angharad Cole. Nicola Cook. <laughs> Natasha Alexia Martina Coppini. <laughs> Leah McKeown. <laughs> Natalia Alden. <laughs> Sophia Victoria Ray. Jane Louise Smith. <laughs> Hilary Chi Sing Ku. <laughs> Francis Sikena Imagara. <laughs> Helen Elizabeth Douglas. <laughs> Parnit Gill. Hugh Geraint Jones. <laughs> Kirsten Hannah Mahoney. And if you could stand, please. Troy awachter dod a brifasgol a ymtheried oed i mi, do bani afchwi i raf athro man gwyddoniaeth ag i holl threniau raf hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce someone who has received the degree of Master of Philosophy. Arrivier Rasso Dylan Jones and Gavloino Inigolin Sin Derbin Grad Rasso Meun Asroniais. David Keith Hunt. Troy after Dada Brivascola um Thereado di me, the bunny af qui e rav athro man athronii, aki hoth frenia rav hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who have received the degree of Master of Research. Arrivier Athro Dylan Jones and Kavluna Rai Sidwedi Derbin Grad Athro Meun Amchwil. Scott Hart. <laughs> Waiku Nyambo Maboshe. Troy after Dada Brivascol um Thereadoi di me, the bunny of Hui e Rav Athro Man Umquil Aki Hoth Frenia Rav Hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who received the degree of Doctor of Medicine. Aroivi Arathro Dylan Jones and Kavluno Rai Sidwedi Derbingrad Doithir Maun Medagaith. 
Rachel Mary Brooks. Stephen Edwards. <laughs> Fatima Kanu. <laughs> Mohammed Moaza. <laughs> Alistair John Richards. Stuart James Russell. <laughs> Jeffrey Turner. And if you could stand, please. Troy, our Dodd Abrivaskol, and Thiried Oidi Me, the Bunny of Qui, Irad Doithia Man with a Gaif, Agi Hoth, Freni Ayahrath Hon. Congratulations. I, Professor Dylan Jones, introduce those who received the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Aroi vi ar athro Dylan Jones yn cyflwyn o rai sydd wedi derbyn gradd doethur mewn athroniaeth. Macalier Adravanti. <laughs> Sophie Elizabeth Betteridge. Catherine Bowles. <laughs> Miriam Laura Cooper. <laughs> Jessica Dada. <laughs> City Sarah Binti Dowd. Martin Sanchez Davy. <laughs> Jessica Eddy. <laughs> Khalil Elgmati. <laughs> Laura Ann Evans. Aouya Sinead Flynn. Mark Forrest. Patrizio Gabriele Giganti. Nina Helen Gobar. Ailish Jane Hannan. <laughs> Benjamin Holst. <laughs> Maria Calogero. <laughs> Adam Christopher Midgley. <laughs> Kevin Thomas Norris. Thomas Peter Ignatius Pembroke. <laughs> William Victor Thomas Perks. <laughs> Rachel Samantha Preston. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Raybould.
Elliot Gwyn Rees. Monica Seidel. Subuni Selwan. Hannah Elizabeth Shipman. Aravinda Kaur Singh. Stephanie Seidel. Jamie Marcel Szymanski. Rhys Hugh Thomas. Lawrence David Towner. Bartolome Jakub Trochka. Jonathan Mark Tyrell. <laughs> Hannah West. <laughs> Jenna Rachel Williams. <laughs> Peter William Michael Wilson. <laughs> Jana Witt. could stand please. Troy our dead a brivascol um theriedoidi me, the bunny arqui e rath doithia man a thronyaith, agi hoth freniach rath on. Congratulations. Those who have been awarded an undergraduate degree that now entitles you to practice in the area of health, please stand as we now will be taking the medical oath. The oath will be read and you will then be required to say, I do. I will now declare the oath, first in Welsh and then in English, and then I will ask you to agree to the terms of the oath. Adawav mai vym lenoriaeth gyntaf fydd gofalu am fy nghleifion. Byddaf yn garedig gyda phob claf ac ymdrechaf i gyfathrebu yn effeithlon gyda nhw. Byddaf yn parchu urddas a'u preifatrwydd a'i hawl i gyfrannu'n llawn at benderfyniadau ynglynau gofal. Byddaf yn onest ac yn ddibynadwy bob amser ac yn parchu a diogelu gwybodaeth gyfrinachol. Ni fydd fy nghredoau personol yn amharu ar ofal fy nghleifion. Trwy gydnabod cyfyngiadau fy nghymhwysedd, byddaf bob amser yn diweddaru fy nghwybodaeth am sgiliau proffesiynol. Os bydd gennyf reswm da i gredu na dwy fi neu gydweithiwr yn addas i weithio, byddaf yn gweithredu'n gyflym i ddiogelu cleifion rhag perigl. Ni fyddaf yn camddefnyddio fy sefyllfa broffesiynol, a byddaf yn gweithio gyda chi dweithwyr yn y ffordd orau er lles y cleifion. Yn yr holl faterion hyn, ni fyddaf byth yn gwahaniaethu na'n heg yn erbyn fy cleifion. Nam am cydweithwyr, a byddaf yn barod i gyfiawn hai fy ngweithredoedd iddynt ym hob achos. Rhoddaf yr addewid yma ar fy llw yn wirfoddol ac o ddifrif. 
I promise that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. I will be considerate to all my patients and will strive to communicate effectively with them. I will respect my patients' dignity and autonomy and their right to be fully involved in decisions about their care. At all times, I will be honest and trustworthy, respecting and protecting confidential information. My personal beliefs will not prejudice my care of patients. Recognising the limits of my competence, I will keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. If I believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice, I will act quickly to protect patients from risk. I will not abuse my professional position and will work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients. I will never discriminate unfairly against patients or colleagues and I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. I make this promise solemnly, freely and upon my honour. If you agree to the terms of the oath, say I do. Platform may be seated. All students now please stand to receive the greeting from the Chancellor of the University, Sir Martin Evans, followed by a greeting from the representatives of the Students' Union, Mr Ollie Wunnell. May your care ever be for the good name of our university and the well-being of the world. You are now members of the distinguished alumni of this university. May your association with the university be cherished and be constant throughout your life. And may your care ever be for the fellowship of the university and the welfare of all people. I'm sure that all of you very proud graduates would like to join in in a long-standing tradition at Cardiff University at these ceremonies. And that is to pay a special tribute to your families and friends who have supported you in so many ways over so many years, not least financially. And indeed, to thank the academic staff and all those who have helped you reach this important part in your life. Can I therefore invite you to turn and greet your family and friends and say to them a special and public thank you by giving them all an enthusiastic round of applause. Please be seated. Deputy Vice Chancellor, for centuries yeast has been held in high regard in literature. In a Smollett novel of 1769, there's a character who expatiated on yeast as the nectar of the gods that would sustain the animal machine, fill the human mind with divine inspiration, and confer immortality. For Coleridge, poetic metre resembles yeast, worthless or disagreeable by itself, but giving vivacity and spirit to the liquor with which it is proportionally combined. For his part, the Scots poet Hugh McDermott says that but for yeast, we micht as we'll no be alive. I'm sorry about the pronunciation. Yeast, that is, represents growth, creative, creativity, supernatural inspiration, downright courage, and intoxication of one kind or another. 
Yet it is a singular fact that the everyday word most commonly associated with yeast in our language is humble. Even in recent years, when we always like to hope we see things in better proportion, we find definitions which begin like this, yeast, a humble but complex organism long considered a workhouse of biotechnology, a workhorse of biotechnology. For years, this suggests the imaginations of life scientists have lagged woefully behind those of poets. As William Wordsworth declared, minds that have nothing to confer find little to perceive. There has been no such problem for Sir Paul Nurse. It was research into this rather despised organism that led Sir Paul, as a geneticist who works on what controls the division and shape of cells, to obtain results of such brilliance and import that they gained him the Nobel Prize for Physiology of Medicine in 2001 with Leyland H. Hartwell and R. Timothy Hunt for discovering key regulators of the cell cycle. Born in Norwich in 1949, Sir Paul earned his PhD from the University of East Anglia and was a professor of microbiology at the University of Oxford from 1987 to 1993. He headed the Cell Cycle Laboratory at the Imperial Cancer Research Fund, now Cancer Research UK, becoming Director General in 1996. He recalls that at first his presence in a cancer research establishment as a researcher into yeast caused some puzzlement. Yet scientific research requires powers of imagination as well as logic. If the researcher is to dare to intuit in advance that there may be eventual still unforeseen results from a piece of research, perhaps untold years in the future. Sir Paul's preoccupation with a modest, unfashionable organism took him to the top of the scientific tree. He's not only president of the Royal Society, the highest position a British scientist can reach, but director of the highly prestigious Francis Crick Institute in London. As well as being chief executive of Cancer Research UK, he's been president of Rockefeller University. He has received the Albert Lasker Award and the Royal Society's Royal and Copley Medals. He was knighted in 1999 and received the Légion d'honneur in 2003. Unsurprisingly, therefore, he, in 2010, he was voted Britain's most influential scientist, all from humble yeast. One is reminded of the story of the Welsh children who, when reproached for speaking their mother tongue on the grounds that it was a small language, retorted, it is not small when spoken by us. Yeast, we may safely assert, is not humble when interpreted by Sir Paul Nurse. At one time, Sir Paul chaired the Science in Society initiative of the Royal Society, which conducts and improves the dialogue between scientists and the public. He admits to holding an idealistic view of science as a liberalizing and progressive force for humanity. He once claimed that the better understanding of the natural world enhances all of us as human beings and can be harnessed for the better good, leading to improved health and quality of life. It is a truly international activity which breaks down barriers between the peoples of the world. Scientific understanding is often beautiful, a profoundly aesthetic experience which gives pleasure not unlike the reading of a great poem. And he says that it has been a privilege to pursue knowledge for its own sake and see how it might help mankind in practical ways. It is our privilege, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, here today to confer an honorary degree on Sir Paul Nurse as recognition of his work, past, present, and to come. Anhledeus Isgang Hefslort, Kavluina VT, Sir Paul Nurse, Vel Doithir Eben Radez, Abrivaskol. Troy Arderdod Arothoidi Me Ganakana, De Baniav Hui, 
Fel cymraeg yr er anrhydedd prifysgol caerdy. Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, members of the university, new graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure indeed and an honor to be receiving this degree today. It's always, of course, a pleasure to visit the beautiful country of Wales and the great city of Cardiff. Now, the first and most important thing I want to say today is, of course, congratulations to the new graduates. It takes a lot of work to get a degree, especially a medically related degree. You should be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. You should also thank those who have helped you get there, as you've already done, parents, relatives, partners, friends. They have supported you, they are proud of you too. So thank them and the university too, your teachers, your supervisors. Many of you will carry on in the medical sciences. Some of you will do other things. Whatever you do decide to do, good luck in your future. But whatever it is that you do, remember your training in medical science here. Keep with you the importance of science as a most reliable way to gain knowledge about the natural world and about ourselves. Remember the attributes of science. It's respect for accurate and reproducible data and observation. The need for honesty and consistency. The promotion of skepticism and doubt, especially about your own ideas. Science has a great power to understand the world and to change the world. It can benefit humanity through improving the quality of lives and our health, of course of particular relevance to you today, and in creating new wealth, and most importantly, helping to solve the great problems that the world faces now and in the future. Increasingly, science will play a greater role in all society's democratic decisions, and you, with your science training, are well placed to help science benefit humanity. Now, as an honorary graduate, I'm usually expected to offer some general advice to new graduates. In thinking about this, I'm always reminded of what Oscar Wilde said about good advice. He said, the only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on, because it's never of any use to oneself. But despite that, I will say a few things. The first is to recommend that you keep your curiosity, a feature of youth, but often diminishing with age. The world is a wonderful place. It is endlessly interesting. It will enchant you all your lives should you remain interested in it. I agree with the historian George Trevelyan, who said, disinterested intellectual curiosity is the lifeblood of real civilization. The second thing I want to say is to tell you to remain passionate and an enthusiast. Embrace causes, 
pursue your interests, care about the world, care about the people around you. Do not let the grass grow under your feet. Get on with things, as Horace said in the first century BC, carpe diem, while we are talking, time is fleeing, seize the day. My third piece of advice is to keep your sense of humour. Whilst being intensely curious, passionate and enthusiastic and so on, do not forget to laugh, especially at yourself. One of the best anecdotes to the downs in life is humour. Being able to laugh, not to take yourself too seriously. These are my suggestions of advice for you. But do not forget what the great British biomedical scientist Max Perut said about advice after a similar speech to this. One final word, never follow the advice of your elders. I also want to say something to the scholars, teachers and officers of the university. Higher education is becoming very complex with the focus on financial targets, budgets, the REF, impact, strategic aims, and so on. With all of this, it can be easy to lose sight of one of the main reasons for having a university. It is to teach students at all levels to think, to value freedom of thought, to be tolerant of others' opinions, to respect innovative and imaginative thinking. Robert Hutchins of Chicago University summed much of this up when he said, education is not to reform students or to amuse them or even simply to make them expert technicians. It is to inflame their intellects, to teach them to think. Students need to be taught to think and to think differently. If they leave a university without the passion to challenge, to disagree, to quest for truth, however uncomfortable, then their education has failed. Thank you again, Cardiff University, for this honour. Good luck to the university, and all of you have graduated today with everything you do in the future. Thank you very much. As Chancellor of the University, I now have the duty to draw these proceedings to a close. But first, before I do, I think we must thank Sir Paul for a marvellous speech where he's encapsulated everything which we have. Where I think, Sir Paul, you have encapsulated everything that we've been trying in our own incompetent ways to be saying at this proceedings. Yes, think, learn to think. Take no notice of anybody else's opinions until they're good ones. <laughs> Go out and do things. Go out and be better than us. We're the old guard here. We've done our stuff. We're fading flowers. <laughs> You're the new ones. You're the future. Go and do it. Sorry, Paul, I'm being inflamed by you. <laughs> so, this occasion is naturally one of the most pleasurable in the university calendar. I mean, what a, a parade of power and intellect we've been seeing going by. And it's lovely to see the, the, the pride, the relief, and in fact the smiles and joy on all your faces. So it's lovely for us. I trust that the pride and joy that you feel today will stay with you always. And in the years to come, you'll look back on your time in Cardiff and realize that the happiness you've experienced, the friendships 
you have made and the depths of knowledge and experience gained have served you well in your journey through life. Today, having graduated, you're joining the worldwide family of Cardiff alumni. It's a family that helps you stay in touch with each other and with us. Cardiff students are valued around the world for their skills, knowledge and attitude. And I hope you'll remember us and share your experience, that you'll come back to see us often and that you'll continue to support us so that new generations can benefit, as you have done, from outstanding teaching and learning here at Cardiff University. So, on behalf of Cardiff University, your academic staff, the officers, your fellow students and scholars, and the great body of alumni throughout the world, I wish you every success in the future. Good luck, safe journey home. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the academic party.